And Tommy Fleetwood's done extremely well too. Plus three yesterday. And look at him now, minus three. And only five off the lead. Good chance to pick something up here. Here's the par five and offers a lot of birdie chances. And that's probably okay. Oh, yeah, the driver's just about in range from there. Ball sitting up the rough, not that long. Sort of about three and a half, four inches. But they're going to let it grow for the rest of the week. So this shouldn't cause him too much stress. Just needs to get a bit of elevation to get some carry on this. Sit down, sit down. E yep, it's okay. Warm wind, but it will be favouring the right. I always found Fridays much easier. And you've played the course once. The nerves settle. Perfect tee shot at the first. And is this going to hold the fairway at the second? Yeah, it's just a... Oh, just caught the edge of that bunker, didn't it? Shot forward, it has finished in the sand. Pin eye for Fleetwood. This one's a little easier if he have been in the front of the bunker, but it's still a nasty one. It's all about getting some height on this. Tough one putting back towards the bunker, but it probably will just move to his right. Need to be firm with this. And it is very nice up and down. It's another birdie, fourth of the round so far for Tommy Fleetwood. Remember, he made a few when he came back early this morning to finish off his second, his first round as well. It's an awkward tee shot, not dissimilar to that of 14 on the back side, an off-camber fairway on the dog leg left. A little bit more landing room on this one though, down between the bunkers. No trouble there for Tommy Fleetwood. Got a nice flat stance, so just looking maybe just a fraction left of this. Down the hill for Fleetwood, into the breeze. All these guys are so driven, that's why they're at the top of their tree. In their chosen sport, left to right, pretty flat at the hole. It was a delightful raid. Oh, no. <laughs> I think he's popped that one up in the air. I don't think it's really got much forward momentum or direction. It's dark in there. But it looks like he might have a swing, and give them a swing. They can usually get it back in play. But... Same place as yesterday for Fleetwood. He's going to have to cut this one low and left or right. Nice oh, clean line. line. Get yeah. it out. Of that. Just going to try and keep it back in play if possible. It disappeared rather sharpish. There is a, a dip there. It may not have gone into some thick rough. It may just be in between the two banks. Back to eight, and the third shot now from Tommy Fleetwood, 161 yards to go. Was it plugged? No, I don't think it was. I don't think it was the greatest lie. It looks a bit fluffy, the sand. It's amazing. The sand has to be up the hill, right to left for Fleetwood. It's wonderful, it's just wonderful. Final hole for Tommy Fleetwood. Beauty. And Mike Willett drove it into the water yesterday, but that is a much better line. Yeah, well, I think we can just about give him that one, that par putt at eight. And back over to nine, and with a bit of luck, the last putt of the day for Tommy Fleetwood. And that is remarkable stuff, really, isn't it? How he has turned things around. 
Tommy, three over par for your first 11 holes in difficult conditions yesterday, nine under for the last 25. What caused the change in fortunes? Um, slept on it. Uh, that clearly made a difference. Um, I think, yeah, yesterday yesterday was I struggled. I think, I, like, I walked off and sat there last night and talked to Finno or Tomo, and I, I kind of... I think I just forced it a little bit. It was really windy, you know, you're going out there in tough conditions and I think I tried to force a few golf shots playing in the wind, tried two or two at good shots and didn't, um, you know, didn't do the things that we work on really. Um, so that was just something that we spoke about. Missed some putts at a few bad wedges. It was like an all-round bad 10 holes and I, last night I had that five footer for par on 11. And the hooter went and I kind of looked at it and I looked at Finno and, I, and we both just thought we'll cut our losses for today and uh, we'll save it, come back tomorrow. And um, that was probably the best thing we did really. Um, I'll be honest, that probably wasn't going to go in last night. I have a feeling I might have missed it and uh, slept on it, hit a good putt this morning and then stiffed one on 12 and, and like just sort of got got playing again and got going. And um, yeah, today like I did, I did things a lot better. Um, did what we discussed in my golf swing and drove it really, really well this afternoon, and that makes such a big difference in the wind. I, drove, you know, I had a really strong flight on my drive, and I was driving it really well. Hit some great irons, hold out really well. Didn't really give anything away, so um, you know, it was a much better day, really. Six new clubs in your bag and a new ball, courtesy of signing a new contract with a new manufacturer. How are they bedding in? How important was the testing you did last week to dial them into your golf game? Yeah, they're going really well. I think um, the thing is tailor-made. I've used their stuff for a long time, really, since Nike you know, stopped making clubs. They were the first set of irons I went to, the first set of woods I went to, other than Nike. So um, I'd been with them a while and then you know, flipping and changing different stuff. So it's, it's been really nice to have um, like a team behind me um, with the clubs and everything and working with me. And, um, and, and yeah, no matter how much sort of testing you do, you still got to go and take it out on the golf course. And we kind of got thrown in at the deep end really uh, yesterday and today with the conditions. But I think um, today's given me a lot of confidence. Um, new balls got in, the new balls great. Like I say, drove it brilliant today. Um, and and you know I'm hitting my hands really really well. So work like work's going well and the equipment's going well. Um, but you you always need that proof really. You know it's it's all well and good practicing all the time with it, but you need that proof. And I don't think you'll get many tougher days where you're going to test it on so all good 25 holes none under par today well played today thanks thanks to watch another european tour video click here and to subscribe click here